What's going on YouTube? Living Proof Fitness. I'm using my phone right now, so uh, excuse the uh, the quality of the video. I mean, some people don't even really even be noticing that shit, but I notice little things like that, man. I'm over here mobbing the uh, fucking like 1999 Ranger or some shit. I'm at work, man, and I need a better job. There's only probably a couple people who have really been following my channel since uh, the beginning. I got a small following. It's fucking early, man. I had a pretty good job. You know, I worked up on the North Slope. I was making pretty good money. I was able to make a lot of videos with my downtime up there. And uh, basically, that's what caused my downfall. Making videos. Somebody, uh, some snitch-ass bitch wanted to fucking go snitch on me. Um, about my videos for helping y'all, you know, helping you guys. Um, and I got in trouble for that because I wasn't allowed to be making videos on the North Slope. So basically, I ended up getting let go because of it. Uh, along with all the layoffs and stuff that have been going on. Long story short, it's put me to where I'm at right now. Now, this job that I got, I'm not guaranteed any fucking hours. So, you know, like right now, it's fucking 8 11 in the morning. I just fucking got up earlier, drove all the way to work in this fucking shitty ass traffic, shitty weather. Get to work and uh, these guys are all hitting me up asking if I'm just, if I'm still not feeling good. Because if I'm not feeling good, then I can just take the day off. They don't really have any work for me right now. I'm like, look man, I, I need my fucking hours. I got bills, man, and bills are fucking guaranteed. Jobs like this one are quick to put you on hold not give you the hours that uh, you originally agreed to but bills unfortunately don't fucking get put on hold your credit card companies and shit don't be like oh yeah you know they, they don't want to give you hours cool you know we'll wait until you can make a payment that motherfuckers hitting me up man i'm behind on my fucking bills right now i ain't making jack shit off of fucking youtube i ain't got enough fucking viewers yet man i do got a better job opportunity getting lined up right now. I'm kind of going through the process of getting all those things set up. Can't really talk about a lot of that right now. I'm probably not gonna talk about it even after I get the job because I'm not gonna sit there and try to get put in the same freaking situation that I got put in last time. Uh, you know, having motherfuckers know where I work at and wanna go snitch on me with my videos. Cause y'all know how I be talking, man. I be cussing like a motherfucker. But shit, I'm just a laid back dude that fucking has a bad mouth. Excuse me if I insulted you. People need to learn how to chill the hell out, you know? Take a chill pill. I wish that I could just make my money off of YouTube or something. Just make my videos and not have to worry about shit. But any of y'all that got a channel or have tried to start a channel know just how difficult it is to get motherfuckers to even watch one of your videos. This shit is actually pretty fucking hard to like get viewers and stuff. But then again, I don't do it to try to get fucking YouTube famous. I just do it to give y'all information on how to make you some gains, man. Because I was once there, needing some information to get gains. And all of a sudden I came across, across this uh, beautiful thing called YouTube. And there's a lot of bullshit information that I came across, and there was a lot of good information that I came across. Me being on the skinnier side of things, and taking all these different tools and strategies and kind of creating my own formula to make something real happen. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take my own strategy because I'm skinny as fuck. And I know that there's a lot of other skinny brothers out there that need help. This skinny shit just ain't fucking working no more, man. So I'm gonna give out a lending hand and I'm gonna help some people out. And you know, I made the channel. And uh, there are some people who have actually taken my advice, man. Some of the people are right around me, man. And I get to see them making all of these results. And I'm just like, hey, man, you making gains, bro. That's what's up. So I know the advice works. So it'd be nice to be able to make a little bit of fucking money off of this advice. Because, you know what I'm saying? It's all free off these damn videos. But, you know, life ain't that fucking simple. These people that are all YouTube famous are some lucky motherfuckers, man. It does take a lot of hard work, but should I be willing to, if I knew the exact secrets to making the YouTube shit work, I sure as hell wouldn't be doing this fucking shit, driving in this fucking weather. Getting up early as shit, having to drive in fucking traffic like this. It's actually not bad on this side. Driving about an hour out of town just to get the fucking work, doing restoration work. That's what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Shit sucks.
sucks on some real shit to all the younger viewers out there. I just want to say this. Keep your ass in school. Try to get good grades so that way you can earn yourself a scholarship and get you a college education so that way you ain't out here doing this kind of shit when you get older. Because if you don't have a college education, because you know what I'm saying, you didn't have the money for it, you don't get good grades, you don't earn yourself a scholarship, right? So if you don't earn yourself a scholarship, then you gotta have the money to pay for your college. Most of us are the average Joe. Me, you know what I'm saying, I came from a very unwealthy family. So when you can't pay for your school, now you just fucked for life. Unless you can learn a good trade, or at least pay for that, or find some kind of programs that'll help pay for your trade. So if you can't learn a trade and you don't have college, you literally are fucked in life until you can uh, just happen to land you a better job. So make sure that you stay in school and do what you gotta do. Because making gains is cool, but making gains ain't doing your shit if you broke. I mean, I guess it would really suck to be broke and be a little skinny shit. At least if you're making gains, then you know you feel a little bit better about yourself, but that's beyond the point. Anyways, my arm is getting tired of holding this camera. That's my rant for today. Go ahead and focus more on the road instead of the fucking video. My shoulder's making gains holding this fucking iPhone. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to at least work my way up to like 100 subscribers, man. But you know, I check the YouTube every day. And every single time I see another subscriber, I'm like, oh shit, son, I got another subscriber. Be sure to hit the button if you haven't already. Like the video, come live and prove. Shit, I'm making gains, bro.